since most of you are asking about effective home strategies to help you cope with numbness and pins and needle sensation either in your hands, your lower leg, and your foot, this video is for you. Stay with me until the end so you will know when to never massage your lower leg. Hi, this is again Dr. Sherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy, teaching you practical health tips and home exercise programs that you will surely benefit from. For those of you who are new to this channel, numbness, pins and needle sensation, electric type of pain, and even sharp shooting type of pain, these are all indicative of nerve damage. We have different causes for that, like for example, a complication of diabetes or secondary to compressed nerve as a result of different spinal conditions. Whatever the case may be, the cost can actually help determine your recovery. And given this, even in the presence of medication, these home strategies will come in handy. That's why in this video, we will be discussing home strategies that commonly affects three different body parts, namely the hands, the lower leg, and the foot. If you feel numbness in the hands, I empathize with you. I know it can really be disturbing because it has the capacity to actually affect your day-to-day -day activities like your work, typing, encoding, writing, and even washing the dishes. Do range of motion exercise. Even simple closing of your fist and then opening while widely putting your fingers and maintaining this position for 10 to 15 seconds repeat this several times there is no contraindication for this this will help with neuropathy symptoms because it will improve blood circulation which is needed for nerve healing thermotherapy or the application of hot and cold to decrease symptoms of nerve pain for my patients that I see who have carpal tunnel syndrome or numbness in the thumb index, middle, and ring finger, I usually recommend to put cold compress in the level of the wrist. Let it stay there for 15 minutes like this. You can do this if you're not allergic to cold and this is especially important during the first 48 hours. The purpose for this is to decrease the inflammation in the injured media nerve. Massage. Some of you are asking if it's okay to massage your affected hand. The answer is yes. On your own, you can apply firm circular motion in the palm of your hands. This will stimulate blood circulation which will promote healing. Hand exercise. If you're suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome wherein you specifically have numbness in the thumb, index, middle, and ring finger as I have mentioned a while ago, the problem of that is actually carpal tunnel syndrome. And the cause for that is actually compression of the median nerve in the level of your wrist. We have two separate videos in our channel which discuss thoroughly and specifically on the hand exercise that will help you. It targets median nerve glide and specific exercises to increase the functionality of your hands. I will put the link of these two videos in the description box below so that it would be easier for you to follow. You can get back on these videos after you're done watching with this video ergonomic changes if you're experiencing numbness and pins and needle sensation in your hands in your workplace there is a need for you to check your current workplace check your table and your seat it should promote neutral position of the wrist you should avoid flexing your hand like this this will increase your symptoms if you're using keyboard, the most appropriate one would be the curve or the split type keyboard. This will put your wrist in neutral position. This way, we prevent repetitive stress in your wrist. For the mouse, vertical type of mouse would put your wrist in the most optimal position. 
take frequent breaks in your workplace, especially if it entails repetitive hand motion like in coding, writing, and even grasping, you really need to take breaks every now and then. Let your hand rest. Let it stretch. Allow it to heal. You need this one to promote proper healing of your nerve. This is more recommended as opposed to working straight for longer hours. You can also use wrist splints. You can easily purchase this one in different pharmacies or drugstores. Now, this does not mean that you immobilize or you do not use your affected hand because that is also not advisable. However, you can use wrist splints, especially during the early stages of hand numbness, or you can use them at night when you sleep so you prevent bending of your wrist joint. Now, let's talk about numbness in the lower leg. Exercise. Listen very carefully because this one is really important. Most problem with numbness in the lower leg can actually be caused by different spinal or spine conditions. We have a term known as sciatica. It is actually a type of neuropathy where patients have inflamed or injured sciatic nerve due to compression because of a narrowing of the intervertebral disc, secondary or caused by osteoarthritis of the spine or a disc herniation. With sciatica, you may or you may not feel lower back pain, but you feel numbness either in your buttocks, in your lower leg, and even in your foot. If the cause of sciatica with your x-ray results show that osteoarthritis or in the absence of x-ray, when you feel better when you bend forward, you need to do flexion exercise as shown in this video here. But if the cause of your sciatica is due to disc herniation or in the absence of x-ray or MRI, you feel better when you bend your trunk forward like this, then you need to do extension exercise as shown in this video here. Don't worry, I will put the links in the description box below so you can check on it later after this video. Now, this is very important because not all exercises are for you. The correct exercise can actually widen the space within your vertebral canal. The main purpose of this is to actually decompress the impinged sciatic nerve, which can help lessen the symptoms. For numbness in the leg, you can also use compression socks. Compression socks will be helpful because it will help improve blood circulation. Plus, it will also reduce complications like blood clotting. In many clinical trials, actually, compression socks have been proven helpful in patients who have numbness in the lower leg caused by complication of diabetes. Massage. Is it really good if you have numbness in your lower leg? In majority of cases, yes, we have no problem with that. It is not a contraindication. So long as you need to avoid massage if you notice redness, swelling, if it is warm to touch, and if there is a change in the discoloration or color of your skin. Not unless you are cleared by your doctor because do you know these symptoms can mean that there is deep vein thrombosis, which can be fatal if the blood clot is moved and is dislodged. Before we continue about the home strategies that can help you if you're suffering with numbness in the foot, I would really appreciate it if you can take only one second of your time if you think this video or any videos in this channel had been helpful to you. Thank you very much. Let's talk about numbness in the foot. If you have neuropathy in the foot, I can really empathize with you because walking and even prolonged standing, it can be difficult for you. Now, in majority of cases, numbness in the foot is actually a complication of diabetes. Or in some cases also, it can be caused by simpler problems like ill-fitted shoes. That's the reason why choosing the right footwear is very important for foot nerve pain. Avoid using undersized or very narrow shoes. These can actually compress the nerves in your foot. 
And as a reminder, if you're having foot neuropathy, it is really not recommended that you wear flip-flops because in majority of cases, those who present with neuropathy has impaired sensation, which can easily predispose you to cuts and wounds that can easily lead to infection and amputation. Massage. We have no problem with massage in the foot. In fact, it would be good for you because it will improve blood circulation which is needed for nerve healing. Foot soaks. Just like soap baths, you can opt to submerge your foot in lukewarm water and add Epsom salt to further boost its benefit. Just a reminder, it is very important that you towel dry your foot even the ones in your toes and in between your toes after. To help you with foot nerve pain, we actually have three sets of different videos for that. Our first video here is a one-minute technique that teaches you different acupressure points in the foot that you need to stimulate to improve blood circulation because we need proper blood circulation for nerve healing to take place, especially in areas of the body which are distal to the heart. Our second video here is about a desensitization technique that we used in the clinic. This video will show you commonly available items that you already have in your household. Now, the purpose for this is really to let your brain adapt so that the painful stimulus will eventually be no longer painful for you. So that numbness and pins and needle sensation will be already well tolerated. Our third video here are for those of you who are experiencing warm and burning sensation in the foot. This is actually called burning foot syndrome and you can have your techniques shown in this video here. Don't worry, I will put all the links also in the description box so you can easily follow and check on them later. In conclusion, these are the effective home strategies that you can do to help lessen symptoms of nerve pain in your hands, in your lower leg, and in your foot. Together with proper food choices, right vitamins for nerve health, and even your medication. If you have reached the end of this video, please comment home strategy in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from you. If you're wondering if the cause of your numbness and pins and needle sensation is actually due to vitamin B12 deficiency, I have a video here on the top symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency. Do check on it. It will really help you. If you have any questions about this video, please comment down below because I would really get back on you. Please share this video to your friends and family members. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. God bless you. See you on our next video.